And before you do any of this, any of this, consult your doctor. Do not do anything until you consult your doctor. So, all right. Hi, guys. I am going to show you my exercise stuff. This is what I'm going to try to implement because I have lost some weight, a lot of weight. But if you come down my basement stairs, you see these things. And I'll try to, over here I have my bench and I have some weights under there. And the round things right here, and they're dirty because they're down in stairs. But these are those things that twist like this and you go down on the floor and you do your sit-ups or whatever and they twist. I got some dumbbells, one long bar and some little weights. This apparatus right here is, I keep it folded up, <clears throat> is a ab lounge. And can you see it? Yep. So you can put your hands on top underneath that thing or you can just hold on but it, and you put your feet down here on these pedals on the pedals and you just go back and forth. And then thirdly, I have my gym. I have an indoor gym. Can you look all the way up? All the way up, all the way up. It has the bar on top that comes down where you can be in front of the gym and do that. And then it has the bar where you do these things. And then it has um, um, this where you can lean forward on this and use your bar up top. It has um, leg things down here. It has um, this. I gotta try to get the that back on there. Um, this bar. You can do your um, up. You know. You can do your this way. This little bar thing. It's down there. I have a padded. Thing to go around your ankle where you can do you know side you know your side lunges you know and then I have a bunch of hand weights down there the third fourth apparatus that I have is a tower and see the little um, right let's see if I can put my finger on it right there this thing I have to put my foot on there to get up on top, my arms on top of this. It has a higher up one, up top, top there, where you can do um, pull-ups and so forth. And, you know, so I have some yoga mats behind there. You'll see I have a stair step. That's that green thing right there. Um, I have a bunch of things hanging off of it. I got some of those elastic, different strengths, elastic like tubing that you can use. And I got a jump rope and I got some Velcro um, arm things and for your ankle. Okay, so there's my, <clears throat> I mean, I have a gym. I have everything that I need here. So I don't have to go to a gym per se. If you want interaction, yeah, but when you're working out, you're not gonna be talking to people or whatnot, and I can move this out or whatever, but this is what you see when you come down. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you, there's one of my Velcro things right here. I wanted to show you is my only thing that I don't have down here, and I'm going to show you this. I'm going to put it right here. I have my exercise ball is over here. You can see it, just barely see it right there. 
and this is the whole thing that came with this. Now this poor thing has gone through a couple of moves and I used to hang it on my wall. Well, I have a cement wall down here. But this is all the exercises for the exercise ball, the big ball for the exercises for that. So I do have that I can hang up or put up or what have you if I want to. I can put it on the wall or on the door over here. I can put it on the door and use the ball over here. So there's the exercise ball. The other thing I have is the different exercises for my little dumbbells that I have. So I can refer to this to do these different things because that's what my bench does. And so I have that little one. Now the other thing I have, and it's sun drench. This gym that I have is old, but it still works. Um, the weights are fine back there. What is it on? I think it's on the first one. Yeah, you can, it has the little um, thing you can push it or how many weights you want or none. And then this came with it. I don't know how it's supposed to hook on. I never hooked it on. Anyway. So this, you go through this, and it tells you the different exercises that you can do with my gym. Okay, there's the anklet thing, and you lean up against the little cushion here, and you can do, I mean, I have the whole system right here. Everything is right here. So I have a ton of it. You know, I have a bunch that you can do. So this is my little card thing. And then I have, and I haven't really gone through all of this. Um, I did show you my exercise planner that I have, my planner. I also have a notebook. And this is things that I have re, um, read on or I have watched somebody and three or four days a week, um, it's the HIT exercise. So I've, I've written down some stuff, how to figure out macros, which is hard for me to, I have that a couple of times. And then I have, um, abs, butt, legs, arms, um, indoor cardio. There's a list of what you can do for indoor cardio, like 50 jumping jacks, 50 crunches, um, 45 jumping jacks, um, um, five burpees. I don't like those. Um, jumping jacks. You know, you do all of these things, okay? And... Um, and then I have some um, keto stuff when I was thinking about doing that. Full body training routine. Who's this by? This is by uh, Merjan Jevron, fitness instructor. I mean, I printed out a bunch of stuff, um, different exercises, what they look like. I have some grocery planning lists and, and stuff like that. I actually went to a trainer <clears throat> here in town. There's a fitness gym in town, and I made an appointment to meet with him, and he had, I told him what I wanted to do, and he wrote out what I should be doing, and that's what's in my uh, exercise planner. But I wanted to show you... Um, this stuff, and I think this is just the, the gym, for the gym, okay? Now, that's for the gym. This is muscle training, this stuff. Now, cardio-wise, I have several CDs that I'm really fond of. And this is more gym stuff. Glutes in 20 minutes, 
random stuff that I keep in here that I watched or used at one point. Um, here is the elastic band that I have if you want to use your elastic band thing that I have. Um, I have several, here's those um, round things that go on the floor. There's a whole thing on how to do use those. So I have that also. I used to have a room dedicated for exercise stuff. So I had all these posters and everything all over the place. Well, we downsized our home and now it's just this little thing. <laughs> so I don't have a DVD player. Uh, actually, I do. But I, yeah, I can. I can plug it in over here on this wall. I could bring a table over here and for my DVDs I have right here and do them down here. This is cement. So um, you want to make sure, you know, I'd have to wear my uh, squishy sneakers or whatever. But I have several. These are the CDs that I've bought. I've tried them all. There's only certain ones that I like. Now, I, um, my favorite one is my Zumba. And I love this one. This is my favorite one. This is the one I do for starting out. This is a 20 minute express thing. This is the one that I usually, this is three, a three CD set. This was Cardio Party, Sculpt and Tone. Um, I usually do the 20 minute fitness thing when I first start out <laughs> because it's the, the best one. So that's what I usually end up doing, but I do like these other ones and they're all right here. So if you want to pause it and look at them, you can pause it and look at them. My other one that I liked really well is this one. Let me see that is this one. Um, what other one? Um, this one is another one that was really fun. I liked. Um, what's this one? Oh, this is for the stair stepper, which I have. And I mean, I've done all of these, and it just depends on what you're in the mood for. But you can mix it up, you know. So, but my favorite one is the Zumba one. And then I have. Um, the Biggest Loser workout, I have Julian Michaels, I have one of hers, I have um, Fitness Made Simple, different workouts, John Basow, I, I used to watch this one all the time too, he's pretty good. This is, I mean, these are older, and then I have Sean T. Man, if you get, he want to work out, do his videos his videos and then I have my um, yeah that's another one of his that I've so there's a few in here what's this one? Oh, boot camp yeah this one will kill you too this one is pretty good so it really depends on what you're in the mood for but this is my cardio stuff or go out walking one or the other so I have to implement this stuff Again, and this is dirty down here. All kinds of dirty. So I think that if I had incorporated some of this cardio and my other things here, I probably would be down to where I need to be right now. So, but because I don't do a lot of exercise, a lot of, of that, I need to plan an hour a day or a couple of times a day to get back into this. Do um, like 20 minutes of the cardio and then do 10 minutes of, or whatever, split it up. I have to start doing that. So I usually do the, these cardio things up on the big TV because I have more room in the living room, but I can do it down here. But I usually, I just brought this down so I could show you everything. But this stuff is usually upstairs. <coughs> but my posters and stuff I leave down here and put them up or whatever. So anyway, there is my, I guess, fitness goals, <laughs> I guess. 
Um, also, there is um, a couple people you can watch on t on on TV on on YouTube is Buff Bunny, um, Heidi Summers. She she just did it. I don't know if it's up on if you'll find it on her playlist. She did her freebie um, workout stuff, and most of hers is weight training. So you can go watch her. I do watch her. I watch her. I don't implement <laughs> anything. That's not going to get me anywhere by doing that. And who else? I watch a couple of the guys. Um, Christian Guzman, um, Max Tuning, um, the several other um, gals, too, that I've watched or watched also. So those are the three off the top of my head. That, but Heidi does do um, some freebie kind of things um, at any time I'm sure that they can consult over the phone or whatever I'm sure that they can do that and I will go back in and meet with my doctor before I start any of this I'll go back in and meet with them so anyway there's my fitness stuff but yeah so here you go there's my what I could do. Now, if you don't have any of this stuff, these benches, you you don't need. You can use a chair, you know, but check your thrift stores. You could find this stuff cheap, you know, same with the weights and stuff. These little dumbbells that I have right here, this pile, I have them at Walmart and they're not that expensive. You can find them there. That's where I got mine. I started out with the little teeny ones. I think they're two pounders. And I started out with those. Like, I have not been doing any of this in a long time. So I will start out with my one pound little things. They're supposed to open up and put them on your wrist, but I don't do that. I just put them in my hand like this or hang on, you know, hang on to them. And I just use these until I get, then I move up to my two pound, <coughs> my two pound ones what these ones are, my two pounds ones. And then from there, I have three pound ones, four pound ones, and five pound. I will never go up higher than that. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five. That's it, I will not go up more than that because I don't want to be muscle bound. So that's all I have for that. And then my um, gym here I will either use no weight just its own weight that first one which is I, I don't know how much it is like two pounds or something like that or the next one I will not do any more than that and there's quite a few of them there I think there's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. there's ten all together and I'll only use the first two for any amount of time I'll just use those so, yeah, so that's it, all of it. Go see your doctor, and yeah, we will see you all again soon. Bye.